to create a blog um, for your website, you just simply go to your um, website editor in SiteJack and step three, click on add page components, um, click on add components, select the blog option, and then click OK. This will put the blog um, components into your um, website and then you can click to configure it. Click the configure icon there. You can give it a title here. Just call it blog descri description. I'm just going to call it blog. Save that. <coughs> And then under your administrator credentials, you need to get your credential. This is the login that you need to access the admin area of the blog. So let's click that. Now, one of uh, the admin account, we want to fill out um, the information, the username, password, and um, fill out the password three times, put in your name and email address. Um, this is the username and password, the login, admin user and password that you use to log in to administer your blog from your website. So after you finish filling that out, click save, um, jump to the user area. This is some options that you have. Um, yeah, if you want to display your login box to so let users register and log in on your website, log in, um, log into your blog, you can check this box so users can be able to register and log in themselves in your box. Um, but I recommend you leave it unchecked. <clears throat> but this is a URL that you can use to log into your blog administrator after your blog has been published. You want to definitely make note of this URL here and um, there's some other options here that you can have but you pretty much can leave all these options alone and um, also here is the email templates section here this is you can edit some of this email this is email that goes out when someone registers on your blog but since people are not registering we don't need it to edit any of them but if you did enable um, the access for people to register on your blog um, or display login box then you can actually um, probably need that so I'm not going to display login box so after you're done making some changes here most of the stuff like, like I said again can remain as is you don't need to make any changes just hit save when you're done and then that's pretty much it so you go ahead and publish your blog when you publish your blog when you hit publish to publish your blog um, just want to note sometimes if um, if you're republishing your blog maybe this is the second time you can always check this option here uh, optional for publish issue if you check this box this will allow this will republish your blog um, or <clears throat> to um, delete everything on the users on your blog or anything else that you have and pretty much set up a, a, a set you up a clean um, blog clean up the database but you really don't want to use that unless you have a problem you know, publishing, you run into issues. But for the most part, you leave that um, unchecked. Just wanted to show that, show you that. But you can go ahead and hit publish. Them. Now, if we go to our website, we'll see the new blog that we have. But we still need to configure it a little bit. I uh, just added a, a, cost, uh, a demo blog here. Uh, so to go to your blog, since we didn't enable the login box, we need to go to the back end of our blog to edit blogs, add new blogs, and so on and so forth. To do that, we just go to the URL that we have earlier, which you can find under admin um, under user configuration. Here is a copy that. Let's just go ahead and copy, and then put that to URL and URL, and that will automatically log us into admin area of our blog, which we can then log in and um, edit our blog. Log in with the username and password which you um, created here when you were an admin account so you have to remember that because my password all right so this will first take you to the to the general settings of your, of your blog you don't need to this is just for users you know if you enabled users registration but for the most part you can see it's just um, the admin admin to so all you need to do here is basically go to the um, blog admin click on blog admin this is where you can edit edit your blog and all you need to do to end a new blog entry you just click new entry Give your blog a title. Give your blog after give your blog a title. Give it um, some information, and just hit save. You can add a, add it to a category if you want to here, um, but I'll leave it. Uh, I'll put in the news category in this case, and just hit save. And that's it. Your blog has been saved. You can also actually create more categories to organize your blog. Um, under here, you click on categories. You can add a new category. Create a new category. I can call this one. Um, we call it call this information. You can put a description for it and just click create. 
and that creates a new category. So now if we go to the front end of our website, let's go click on blog, which you see we have two blogs there. We have the new recruits blog I just created, blog post right here, and then the one I had earlier. And we also have a new category called um, information like I just created. And as you know, blogs are, are, are arranged by, um, by date. So when you click on the, on the current date to show you the blogs for that particular posted that particular day. So that's how blogs work. Obviously when you are posting your blog, you can also make it um, a little nicer. You can always go back and by the way and edit your blogs where you go to uh, enter entries, click edit entries and then you can click edit and you can edit your blog. And remember you can use all these um, WCG editor tools to make it um, nicer, to make your blog nicer. Um, you want it to look your blog post nicer. And so that's really all there is. When you're done, you can click back to admin area and then you can log out. And this logs you out, your, out of your blog administrative area and takes you back to your web page. So now people can see your blog and all the blogs you post based on date. They can search your blog, they can archive it's archived by month automatically. You can have categories and it's automatically synced for you. So that's all you need to know um, about setting up your blog. Um, as a recap, when you um, add in step three, when you add your blog components, make sure you set up your admin password. This is a password to use to log into your blog administrator section only. And to get the URL to log into your blog admin, you get it under the user configuration here. And that's um, it. Thank you.